Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And we're here with Danganronpa V3, part 35. The investigation of whoever this is. Of mysterious squashed person. Mysterious purple sleeve. That I'm hoping is Kokichi or another mysterious person. Or nobody. It's Manakuma. He was real after all. I'll start here. Yeah, you just... I was me trying to get the line out. I'm sorry, I thought we were having a fun time. Do you not want me in this fight? <laughs> I'll leave! I can't get out. <laughs> You're stuck with me. All right, let's start investigating. Stop it, <laughs> stop doing the thumb face. <laughs> the thumb face. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to invest every inspect every single piece of evidence here. I'm going to invest all my money I'm going to here. Invest all my money. What's a smart investment? All right, there's a lot of things we can do. Let's start at the squashing. We got to start at the body. Always start at the body. The bit of clothing. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. No. In that case, the victim must be. I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Oh, no. No, 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 yeah. no. 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 The hydraulic press is down, and there's blood in the area. The hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. Hmm. I don't really want to do that, though. Okay, we get it, Shuichi. Give us some truth bullets. Now, I remember getting stuck here because there's like, there's something that you have to click on that's kind of, it kind of blends in. I can't remember. Maybe we'll find it later. What is this? A blood stain? There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern, as if dragged. What? It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Swipe pattern blood stain. Truth bullet. Can you put your cursor of that blood stain in the corner? On the edge of the screen. You mean right here? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's fine. Let's go to the, not the washing machine, the press operation panel. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. Hmm. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is. Don't do it! But I have to do it. No. All right! I have to know. No! I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. No! Hmm. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. Maybe it's congealed shut with all the blood. After looking around the press, I found... Ah! Oh, the power cord is cut! I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Well, it's probably not the work of the dead person. I mean, it could be. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. That's probably okay. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. I feel like mm. everyone would agree with you. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue there. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you use this. Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, They'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right. This hydraulic press should have had a safety function oh, yeah. that we tested with Kibo. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. That means they were already dead when they were put on the press. Mm. So the press didn't kill them. Uh-uh, it just got rid of the body. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Stop automatically, huh? Safety function. Let's 
go to the bathroom. We should investigate the rest of this uh, room first. What's that? Oh, that's an operation panel. It's a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Okay. Duh! Exosol green. There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. Hmm. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh? Huh? The hatch is open? How strange. Only the Mono Cubs can turn off the electric lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the Mono Cubs can open the hatch. Yeah, yeah. Normally, the Mono Cubs are the only ones who can pilot the Exosols. Well. Normally being the keyword. But because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Unbelievable. Nope. No one's asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. An electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosols. Could. But if you could disable the lock, hmm. you could control the exosol. What were you gonna say? Could. Could control the Exosol. The Monarch Cubs could. The dead! Okay. That's what yeah. I was trying to say. Oh. Oh, we're gonna talk to some movie. <gasps> the Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, it won't be a, of much use to us. Jeez, it's so useless. He probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. Yeah. Speaking of useless, oh no. That's nice. It's fine, it's fine. A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. <laughs> Whoa, he popped out! Jeez, what an attention hog. Hmm. Of course I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. No, I met Samugi. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Samugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? I wonder if someone was like, you need to have Monokuma in here more. <laughs> <laughs> advertising? <clears throat> She's not a mouse. Advertising? What advertising? No, ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Making her a ghost again. The red exosol is completely still. Hey, Suichi. It's dangerous over there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocubs or Kokichi. Uh, so it's just a pile of scrap then? Jeez, don't scare me like that! With my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Ah, oh. uh, but I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Uh, eek! Why didn't you say that so sooner? Why didn't you say that so sooner? That is, if Kokichi is alive. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? This music. Damn it. Yeah. Rock. I like playing the guitar up here. <laughs> what? I, I don't want to talk to you right now, uh, okay? The way you are now. You might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. no, you can't believe Kaito's dead. N no, that's not... Cut it out. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. You're a pain. 
<laughs> if you keep bugging me, great, huh? I'll give you Afro hair with my magic. I mean, <laughs> that would be pretty cool. <laughs> She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? So where were you, Himiko? <laughs> On the night of... Do we even have dates in this game? <laughs> this looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the exosols. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. Oh, if you don't see any clues, then... Oh, wait, painting machine. It looks like a machine used to paint exosols. It smells kind of like paint thinner. It looks the same as before. Probably not related to the case. Okay. This is all just paint. It's not blood. Just gotta make sure. I remember there being, I remember being like an extra blood stain or something that I was like, like on the thing there. Was that helpful? Like, like on, on the that thing there. Like on that silver. Le okay. I don't know. We'll we'll come back to it. This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. I have to pee. That's where Kaito oh, was held. Locked up in the bathroom. Kogiji is right outside. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No. Uh, no. He didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. He can still leave something and be alive. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Finally, we get to look at the bathroom. Right. Because last time we went in, it was like, there's nothing in here. Let's go. <gasps> there's a lot of stuff here. A blood stain, a puddle of blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Blood stain in the bathroom. Oh no! <gasps> There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly, I feel like I've seen this before. Isn't it from his uh, lab? Maybe. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. Could it be? And if it is poison, this bottle must be hmm. taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Hmm. What if all of this was a trap to kill them? A crossbow. This is... One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? Hmm. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total, and blood on all of them. Uh, um, what is this? What happened here? What if Kaito and uh, uh, Kokichi are working together? What if Kaito took him up on his offer to be like the other person who survives? So this is all staged. So I they're mean, trying to get everybody it. killed? Yeah, this is just a trap together. to kill everyone. Why would Kaito do that though? I don't know, but I like to think about it because he's technically dying or whatever, right? Oh. Ah, this case. Oh, what's, what's that black case? Oh, 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 what's in it? This is the case from before, right? Hmm. So could our BFF uh, Maki have given that to him? Maybe. A small window for ventilation. This is... Get all the poopa smells out. The same window from before. <laughs> oh, it's shoot. a small window, and it doesn't open all the way. No one will be able to fit through there. Through, through here. I, I thought it said there, so I started to say there. And I changed it to here. Halfway through, so I said there. The here? No one will be able to fit through there. There? Well. Hmm. I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object can fit through. Interesting! Bathroom window. Hmm. All right, I finished investigating the bathroom. Done. There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning. Just one? 
Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows were definitely for the crossbow. But why are all three bloodied? And that bottle of poison. What could that have been used for? Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Is that it? It looks like it. I wish we could have looked at the egg sink. Wait, why is the eggs all out? It wasn't like that before, was it? I don't... Oh, wait. Maybe, Maybe it was. Just look at it again, just in case. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. But I guess it was just perspective. Yeah. It does look like it's closer now, doesn't it? Okay, I think I remember what you do. We look at the bit of clothing again. Because there's a hole. Yeah. I was looking at that earlier. No. It looks like the left sleeve sticking out of a high draw press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body is visible. Were they crushed completely so that only the sleeve remains? Hmm. What's this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Hmm. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? Take a wild guess, Betty Boy. Hmm. I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have m many clues to work with. Hmm. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. That's about all I can investigate here in the hangar. There's still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I still can't deduce who the victim is. Hmm. I need more clues. Let's start with the areas around the hangar. Okay. Let's go. Uh... There... I have a lot of thoughts. Um... <laughs> didn't Kaito not wear the jacket all the way on his arms? Didn't he just wear it, wear it on his shoulders? Yeah. I wonder if that'll come into play. Because, like, why would there be blood around the hole in the sleeve if he never wore it on his arms? Unless he happened to be. Which, sure, why not? Yeah. The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electro bomb. All right. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Yeah. Well, let's start with the most obvious one that right. we saw earlier. This thing. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with the electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Hmm. Wait, how are they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Oh, is Shuichi getting tired? Sometimes reading things out loud makes me yawn. I think an Exosol did that. I think you're an idiot. <sighs> <laughs> you hit the monitor. Whoops. That's what you get. I hit his mic, by the way. No, they saw him. Okay, I just want to make sure. Phew, I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi! Uh, okay. Uh, I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. Do robots really feel anything, though? No! There was something I need to ask, Kibo. Robophobe! Hey. <laughs> That's robophobic! Yeah, it is. Hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. I'm sorry. It went well. There's no response. I witnessed a few things. Uh, um. You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Ah, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. Okay. Yes, you said the Exosol could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. Huh? 
You saw someone. Um, I saw Himiko. What? With the case. I was in my lab trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But... But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. Hmm. She did say that. Yeah. Why? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. You're right. True, it is suspicious. Hey! You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at that time? Well... Now that I think about it, she didn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. That black bag Himiko was carrying was... Um... By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi! But... Huh? Huh? What is it? As I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But... But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. Oh my god. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. Which means... So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Okay, sweet uh, pea. Okay. Uh, right, that must be it. <laughs> okay, you tell yourself that. So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Kibo's account. Forgot to remember what that is. Kibo's account. Electromagnetic. He, uh, Himiko. Yeah, and Himiko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Are we supposed to look at anything else here? Do we talk to Kibo twice? Sometimes they make you do that. That's. Okay, so. Ow, oh, sorry. <laughs> Fast forwarding. Okay. I wish we could do that in real conversations. Yeah, I wish I could <laughs> fast forward people's real conversations. I wonder if maybe we'll get anything here. This is the bathroom window. Thanks, Sherlock! This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. I knew it! That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. Okay. okay. Now that's been established. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So... Okay, we need to check these out. The Exosol isn't showing any sign of moving. If Kokichi is alive, he can use his remote control to move these as he pleases. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosols, what is it exactly? Does he have it because he's the mastermind? Okay, so it's the same thing that he said earlier. Oh. Evidence. There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power. It must have been used. Ooh. But used for what? Well, you know. Runs out of battery pretty quickly. If you use it against Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. So how would if it remember power down three? Right. If the Electro Hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. He did say it lasted longer than he expected, so maybe it could take out three. I remember the sight I saw yesterday. Right, the four Exosols with Monokuma. Exosols protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kokichi said he was the mastermind. The Exosols should have been around him. So why were they protecting Monokuma? And four of them too. Were there four? Hmm. I yeah, only saw three. There were four. Okay. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed, I say! Ah, oh, Monokuma. And another thing. It's just, I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't ya? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. No way! But you didn't need to sneak around because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey! What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Cut! 
does. Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies. So in a way, everyone's going there is the same. Wait. N no, not that. I meant about the Exosols not attacking us. Yeah? Oh. At the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey, um... Their movements are more limited now that the Mono Cubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma. Hey, why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey! So you share it instead! That way. It'll be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why won't they share that information? Okay. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, yeah. By the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrilling to illegally download them. Psycho pop. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. What? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny this never happened to me. This information about the exosols could be a clue to solving this case. <laughs> Shh. It's never happened to me. I'm just kidding. I don't understand. I said it's never happened to me. I should remember this. I like, I like ruining jokes. Yeah, you're really good at it. I am, aren't I? He is hilarious. I am hilarious. Thank you. Looking. I investigated thoroughly inside. I should check around the hangar now. Is there, is there something else? Maybe there's something in the middle of the exosols? Did you click on all the exosols? I mean, are they just going to say the same thing? Oh, uh, what exactly did I witness here? I know for certain that the Exostalls are being controlled by Kokichi's remote control, but why were they focusing on Monokuma? Hmm. Okay. It's the same thing. So we found an Electro Hammer here. I don't know. Can you look at their tails? I, I don't think so. It all okay. says yeah. Exosol blue, Exosol pink. Pink and yellow. So green and red are in the hangers, and that accounts for all the... Yeah, so that's okay. all five of them. Okay. This is Monoskays, Monokids, and uh, Monophonies. Monophonies! So Monotaro and uh, Monodums are in the hangar. And we go back into the hangar. The hangar's shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm will go off around the entire academy. What? We had to use an electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the hangar. To do nothing. Jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. So really it just jams signals. That's why it didn't shut down Kibo. Right. It seems like it would shut down his ability to talk or like send out signals, you know? Or I think, like I think detect like anything. Wireless signals. So like he's all wired, so that would all work. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't leave any debris. Which is interesting. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what else will be deactivated. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what of the other two? Electro bomb. There we go. Was that the last one I needed? Probably. That's about all I was concerned with in the hangar. But. But I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some clues are okay. Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom. 
The bottle of poison. I need to investigate All those right. leads. I should also inspect the three exosols that were protecting Monokuma. I was. I did it. I did inspect them. Okay. Let's so go. It wants you to go back there. Hang on. I think. Are you trying to go back into the... Place? Yeah. It may not let you. He just said... I thought he said we needed to go back in. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. He said, why, we were they, why were they guarding Monokuma? Oh, right, yeah. Okay. But we already looked... I already looked at them, though. Did you look at all three of them? You yeah. looked at yellow... I looked at all three. Okay, whatever. We'll we'll go to where we need to go. Oh wait, fast travel's locked. So I guess you have to unlock something oh here. Gosh. No, like I think we can leave the hangar now. We just have to go manually. We have to go manually to my lab and Maki's lab, which of course are on the upper floors. That's fine. It's a pain. It's such a pain. What a pain. Yeah. I like the Where's use Maki of... right now? I know, where's Maki? Where's obviously Kokichi and, mm -hmm. and uh, Kaito? Yeah, but like Maki's... She did disappear, didn't she? She's probably in her lab. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. It'll take us a thousand years to get there, but eventually we'll get there. Let's just sit in silence until we get there. <laughs> Look, I'm a thumb face. Cool. You're letting the corner show. What did you say? You're letting the corner show. What corner? You fixed it because you sat up. Oh, oh, now it's not there anymore. Nope, it's not. The invisible corner, I couldn't see. That's right. I feel as though there were less weapons here than I remember. Well, let's use your feel facts, Shuichi. Oh, maybe we should go to the gym. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's because Kaito had them. Oh, I see. Okay. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. They're cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. But there are two. When I was here with Kaito before, there were three of them. So that must mean... Three minus one. Three. Two. Four. <laughs> uh... Ten. Seventeen. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here, which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. No. I'll think more about that later, but for now I need to investigate. Okay. Apparently we're still looking near the weapons shelf. I feel as though there were less weapons here than I remember. Oh my god. Alright! Yep. So you went into my lab? It's because Kaito had them. Yes! We talked about this. What else? Guns? Do we look at the guns? There's a gun missing. Look at all these guns! Even if they're all airsoft guns, it's a remarkable sight. Oh, okay. 
What else do we need to look at? Can we leave? There's nothing else to look at. There's the weapon shelf, which we've looked at. We never look at the monitor. Right. We looked at the black cases. You're not supposed parts. to look at the black cases twice, are you? We'll just check just in case. I don't think so. Yeah, it's the same. I'm upset okay. that we can never look at the red jacket. I know, it's cool, right? It's like Assassin's Creed. It's badass. Do you know what Assassin's Creed is? I've never heard of it. <laughs> is that a book? Do you know what a video game is? <laughs> I only read the classic novels. Oh, you probably only play like Candy Crush. Oh, I've never actually played Candy Crush. It's not bad. It's just made by an exploitative, awful company. Oh, okay. Really. That's fun. That's like the main. That's. Therein lies the rub. Thy Shakespeare. I finally clothes. got to say that phrase. Therein lies the rub. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. So happy for you. The bottle poisoned the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. All right. Let's look at the chemicals. There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside this lab, so the small bottle of poison I found must have come from here. Ah. Oh. Hmm. There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. The label says, strike nine poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. And that doesn't say it can be lethal. It says, will result in certain death. Will be lethal. Yeah, will be lethal. I can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. You've been poisoned. This must be a clue. <laughs> Poison has been added to the truth bolts. Poison! Okay. I mean, I don't know. Bunch of bottles. These bottles say antidote. Oh. Knights hate antidote. Harmlock. Arsneak. <laughs> they're, all, they're all like puns. Plays. Nightshade, hemlock, yeah. arsenic. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific poison. Well, well I suppose that makes sense. There are plenty of different kinds of poison, so that must be true for antidotes. Yeah. Hmm. There's just one anecdote that, or an anecdotes, anecdotes that uh, work for all poisons. Strike nine poison and antidotes. That's a pretty cool sounding poison, though. Strike, Strike nine. nine! Strike nine! Poison. I like to think of it as like a guy without a pinky finger, like double karate chop someone to death. Strike, strike nine. nine! That'd be strike eight. Oh, so he'd just be missing one. He'd be missing like a pinky finger. Just one. Maybe his thumb, because you don't need that as much. For karate so chopping. Like yeah, strike nine! I'd rather lose my pinky finger. Strike nine! That'd be awesome. That is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for the strike nine poison. They're all for different poisons. Poisons! What could that mean? <laughs> all right. All poison. right! I investigated this room thoroughly. Good job. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaito isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Monokuma is still moving around, and the killing game hasn't ended. Hmm. And Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. Hmm. Which means the victim must be... No. It's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. Oh my god. Let's go back to the hangar. Can I... Fast travel? Or... Let's do I... See. Have to run there? <gasps> yes! You can fast travel. Not there, though. Why not the hallway to the gym? They don't want you to go there yet. Oh, we can fast travel to the cyber courtyard. Oh, my God. Oh, lucky day. It's happy day. Oh, oh my happy God. Day. Oh, my God, you guys. 
Oh, happy day! What have you missed, John? Oh, look, you leveled up! I, I did. For the pointless leveling system. It's only there for an achievement, but it's still kind of fun. Yeah. You can get to level 99, unfortunately. Almost everyone's here. Shuichi! Shuichi? Can you come with me? What happened? Is something wrong? Um... I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry! <laughs> yeah, we've seen the crossbow. He shouted quickly and ran to the bathroom. Hmm. What are you talking about, Kibo? Let's talk to Maki, because she's graced us with her presence. Yeah. Where have you been? Maki! <laughs> Why is it so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead? I killed him. Oh, there's something on the toilet now. <gasps> there is. Kokichi's clothes. Hey! Kibo, what are you looking at? Yes. Take a look at this! Huh? These are Kokichi's clothes. It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. But... Where did you find these? I don't... I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well... The toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be flushed all the way? Someone tried to flush clothes? Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yeah. Yes, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, okay. Thanks, uh, yeah. Kilo. Clogging the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. That's so weird. Uh, poopy clothes. Kokichi's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? What's the matter? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. All right. All right! I made up my mind. Grab Kokichi's soaked clothes and spread them out spread on the floor, I yeah. think. I accidentally pressed B. How dare you? Huh? There's a small hole in the back. And another small hole in the sleeve. This is about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes, too. What does this mean? It could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Thank you. Kibo, thank you. Thank you! This is a very important clue. Well... Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. No. Uh, your hands aren't clean either, though. <laughs> Kokichi's clothes. But if Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press, where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? And why is this game still going even though the mastermind is dead? Um... If this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You're, you're concerned about that? It's like, I'm just thinking! This yeah. is my thinking face! Kibo and I washed our hands in the sink and left the bathroom. Good thing they washed their hands. Together. You know what that means? Clean hands. All right. What do we need to investigate here still? Maybe Samugi. Samugi looks like she needs, she wants to tell us something. Actually, hey, it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? Uh, um. I wonder, I haven't heard from anyone. I see, I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Or under there. You don't know that. Could it be? Shoichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Seems like. I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain to see. But I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi's been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Ah, uh, oh, of 
course I didn't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay, I know. You're probably right. Also, we don't care. Samugi has a good point. Shut up, Shuichi. You know she doesn't. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. Kokichi's disappearance has been added to the truth bolts. He gets to read it, thank God. That's right! It's time for the class trial, where hope and despair meet head on! Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there, got it? Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished! <laughs> I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time. Oh. Hmm. Everyone needs to be there. Hmm. That means Kokichi or Kaito. Whoever is alive will be there. Then, at the trial, we'll know who the victim is. Oh god, I really want both of them to show up. That would be chaos! Can you imagine? I like this track. Real fiction. Real slash fiction. I like the... What is that? Snare drum? The drum in it? Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Alright, let's go. go. Get to watch the weird statue smash the urn again. Huh? This isn't everyone, right? Uh, um. Kaito and Kokichi aren't here. What's the point? I bet Kokichi is already there. You bastard. As the mastermind of the killing game, he's waiting for us to arrive. No. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaito is alive. Do you want to die? Cut it out. Do you want to die? She should just say, yeah. I do want to die, actually. <laughs> Not that you ask. Maki. Well, this is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair? You don't know? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. Then only five will be left. Only five. Uh, that's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is... The whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Ko I will defeat Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. I always thought her eyes were closed when it turns dark like that, but they were open. It's kind of creepy. No matter what she has to sacrifice. Are you sure about that, Maki? You sure about that? Is that what you call hope? <laughs> I know that we can't lose to despair. But something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaito would say at a time like this. I think we need to believe in each other. Help. What would he say to us if it was Kaito? Hmm. He's gonna crush it again. They got a bunch of those stone vases just sitting around. Just wait. all right. Gotta bring out the next vase. Yeah. Good thing we got enough of these made. And we'll just put it there, a little to the left, and bingo! We got another one! I'll have to crush it again at the next class trial. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a lot in reserve. We didn't say a word to one another. Monokuma's like, oh, I forgot something inside. Oh. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea of Monokuma like manually doing it. Yeah. Like a gardener or something. Yeah. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. He's like wearing a little gardening hat. Yeah. 
The little pads on his knees. Monokuma, what are you doing? Just some routine maintenance. Just securing the judgment shrine. I'm role playing as Monokuma. Really cringy. Ew. Ew, really cringe. I cringe. Disgusting. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we know about the outside world. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? I would be hiding like in the corner of the elevator. As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Ooh, it's different. That's nice. Ah, a battle like this takes me back. After all, hope and despair are natural enemies. Yes, this is truly a magnificent theme. <laughs> <laughs> Only esteemed works of fiction have themes as magnificent as this. <laughs> Sorry, you like spit into the mic and it's funny. You making fun of me? Uh-huh. You have a line. Oh, sorry, I thought that was him. Anyway, where's Kokichi? Why yep. isn't he here? You have a line! You have a line! I'm just kidding. Maki was right. The person who should be here isn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? No, it doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. We must do it. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never submit to despair. Oh, for the love of... No rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Shut up. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death, add a dash of lies and truth, bake it in fires of conflict. <laughs> and when it's golden brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. Yeah! Yeah! Let's do this! Once more, we face a class trial. This music is way too happy for this. I think it's dramatic. I don't think it's happy. Oh, to me it's like, let's go shopping! I think it's like, dramatic. But is the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I... I don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I will fight to prove it. I like how Kaito's blue here. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like a question mark. I will fight with everyone. Kokichi's blue too. To grasp the hope on the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we want to save! Yeah, we want to save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh... We will see you guys in the next episode. For the first half. For the half first half. Of the trial. First half of the class trial. So here's the schedule from this point on. We're going to have... First half of the class trial, second half of the class trial. Mm -hmm. and then we'll take a month off. <laughs> <laughs> and then four weeks until the next part. No. We're, uh, we're joking. That's we'll, not true. We'll take a day off after that, which will conveniently be Thanksgiving. So what? hopefully, if you're in America, at least, you'll be busy that day, too. Um, if you're not in America, well. Sorry. Sorry. It's our like one of our most important holidays, I guess. Yeah. Um, Whatever. It is eh. 
Don't meh. I'm kidding. Don't even joke about that. Don't even joke about it. <laughs> stop, acting, <laughs> stop acting like I'm throwing you across the room. <laughs> just, I'm just nudging her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kimmy was really frustrated the other day. We were at Home Depot. She was really frustrated with people that day. <laughs> I was. And like this woman almost hit her with her cart. Like she came running around the corner blind with her stupid cart. And it it was to the point where like I had to stop, put my hand out and go, whoa, you know, for her to realize that I was, that we were even there at all. And she just goes, and just like kept running with her stupid cart. No, she wasn't like that. She was like, oh, sorry. No, she wasn't. Yes, she She was. was I watched it happen. I watched it happen. No, she was She did not give a freaking shit. No, she was embarrassed. It was pretty clear. She could have shown it more. I thought she showed it. Whatever. Kimmy was was upset that day. And when we got in the car, she was just like, I wish she had hit me. And it would have just gone, ah! (laughs) (laughs) She was like obnoxiously screamed at her. (laughs) Ah! She like... Just runs into me enough to be annoyed, not to be actually injured, and just I, like I just, pause for a minute and just stare at her and go, ah! <laughs> and then just walk away. I I, well, I had in my head of you like being like ah and like falling to the ground <laughs> like you were knocked over, <laughs> just making just, like, a big sailing. scene. <laughs> No, I just want to scream at her and then walk away. Like, stop it! Oh, I thought of it like you know what. You know, I'll just take this one for the team. Yeah. You know? I'm going to teach you a lesson. Look at how injured Bullies I am. Bully's like, you need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> anyway, okay. Well, yeah. Just so a random little story from our lives. Yeah, so tomorrow, first half. The day after that, second half. The day after that, day Nothing. off. Nothing! And then the day after that, we start chapter six. So that's Friday, November 23rd. And there is a final trial just like always, just like every other Danganronpa game, there's a final trial. What? And we won't split that one in half. That's what I want to say. We'll do that one all in one go. It's going to be really long. but It's going to be a five-hour video. So that's the schedule. I'm kidding. That's not true. That's the schedule. Yeah. Woo! Try not to spoil anything except that there's another trial, but like, duh. <laughs> it's Danganronpa. It's Danganronpa. You've seen the first two games. Hopefully... If not, I know there's some there's some chuckle fucks out there that are like I have it. They <laughs> they're available for your funny. viewing. Well, <laughs> I I refuse to watch them. <laughs> People are like that. I know. People are very strange these days. I it just it's fine. The room. Okay. Oh, sorry. I don't have that movie memorized like you do. I don't have it memorized either. It's just a very memorable line. Lies. When Tommy or when Johnny walks out onto the rooftop and then Mark goes, people are very strange these days. It's just impeccable writing. And Is I, that when he's trying to walk out the door and throws the bottle on the ground? Yes. It's, it's yeah, when they're <laughs> having that the- brilliant conversation that's like line after line, solid gold. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. That's all I remember. Yeah, that's like the least funny part of that scene, in my opinion. I don't know, it's pretty great. And I believe to other room diehards, not room normies like some people, um, we can break down that scene into hilariosity. Then why don't y'all get a room and talk about it? Hilariosity is not a word. I'll be not there. Neither is hilariousness, by the way. Okay, you know what? We have dragged this on <laughs> for way too long. Okay, no bye. one's watching at bye. this point. Bye. Hey, guys. Think critically. <laughs> that was really aggressive. It was. 